Good evening. Welcome to the city's uh, daily COVID-19 updates. Uh, we run them Monday through Friday. Now, most often Saturdays as well that, that we're running them and uh, at five o'clock. And we wanna make sure that we get the right information to all of you uh, so you know, in fact, what is happening. So I wanna start by giving out the, the numbers. Uh, as a matter of fact, before I do that, I just want to shout out uh, Eric Panasecki. Uh, Eric Panasecki, who um, uh, hit me on Instagram Live and gave showed me the video of the gas station. I'm going to start off with some good news of the gas station on Bergen Street there by UMD and J, who, uh, University Hospital now, who gave free gas to first responders. Uh, they gave, they filled up almost 250 cars with $6,000 worth of gas. Great gesture. All of us are not like out here trying to uh, do something negative or speak against what's going on. I'm going to shout you out, Eric, for, for sending me that. That, that made my day uh, yesterday. Uh, I was stressing about a few things that made my day. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the gas station and the folks who uh, uh, gave those guys free gas over there. So shout out um, 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 to you guys. And before I uh, before I actually give the numbers and stuff today, too, I, I have a couple of, of things I want to share, some stories that I want to share of people who, who send me things. Uh, it's important to, sh uh, to share these stories because there's a lot of misinformation out here. Uh, and, you know, I, sometimes I shouldn't address this stuff, but at this point, you know, usually at this point, I'm so eager to shoot down this misinformation and the, the Achilles lies and everything that's, that's really risking people's lives out here and lead them to, uh, you know, to make bad decisions uh, for themselves, uh, you know, because there's this whole debate about uh, Monday, right? So today is Monday, thank God. God was on our side, it rained a little bit. Uh, this whole debate about why we uh, are doing Monday and not every day. We actually are doing every day, folks. If you're paying attention to what's going on, we're doing every day. The governor has an executive order in place. We've been sheltering in place since March uh, 14th, right? We've been shel sheltering in place uh, since that time. Uh, you, you weren't supposed to go outside unless there was an emergency, unless you were going to the supermarket or the pharmacy and the crowds were supposed to be small and all these other kind of things. If you were paying attention then you and you were following that, then you know we've been doing this for a long time. Monday is not just designed for you. And so that's why I say we, we look at everything based on ourselves. Monday is designed for the people who service you. Right. And 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 if the people who service you get to stay home, then you don't you don't get to go out that day either. You get to stay home and uh, you have to be home unless people are on the streets, in fact. Right. And that's important for all of us. Right. So there are people who uh, who uh, are serving us in the supermarkets, who are serving us in the pharmacy, who are working in HelloFresh, who are working in Easy Pass, who are driving buses that we get on, who are sweeping streets, who are cleaning uh, who are cleaning buildings, who are picking up your garbage, who are doing all of these, who are answering 911 calls, right? Who are driving EMS trucks, EMT trucks, all of these people who get no time off. They're, they're working hard every day to service us. They need a break. Why? They're being exposed. I know they're being exposed because I, I, the numbers come into me, the number of police officers that test positive, the number of firemen that test positive. And police officers are testing positive because they're out here trying to get people off of the street because they're writing summonses to you because they're passing out masks. And, 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 they're, and they're, they're coming in contact with you, right? So sanitation workers are testing positive because they're out here working, still picking up the garbage. And they need us to love them just as we love ourselves, right? To make sure that they're not taking virus home to their parents, to their grandparents, and, 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 and dealing with them, right? Making them sick uh, and, and ra raising our numbers up. Uh, 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 and you are going back and forth in the street. They're also got to catch the bus. And then they crowd the buses. So... All of that is a, is, is a part of it. I mean, we just have to learn how to discipline ourselves and be still and stop making excuses for one another and understand that people are dying here. So I want to read this uh, before I get into that. I went off on a tangent a little bit, but I, I want to read this, right? So I got a message and all of the messages, most of the messages I get are positive ones, right? So you, I know you see me going back and forth with a few people and, you know, uh, uh, but most of the messages I get are positive ones. This one is, it, it says, I see your message you put out. I want to comment so bad, but because I've been dealing with, with this for so long, I will spare them. I watched a man screaming. This is a, a worker in the hospital. I watched a man screaming, he don't want to die here over and over yesterday. I left him sitting up and he coded overnight. 
and is now on a vent. Same day, watch my coworker get put on a vent. He has been with the hospital for 28 years, so I can't engage in non-healthcare folks who just don't freaking get it, right? Uh, and that that that's a. I had to tell you that story, and and then there's two other stories. There's a story of a, of a young man, very, very a younger guy who 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 hits me and says, "Listen, my mother." Has the symptoms. I took her to Beth Israel. They're not testing, uh, and 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 they won't admit her. Uh, we went. We call University Hospital. University Hospital is crowded, and because she's not very very sick, they they they're not bringing her in. Is there a number that you can call? I'm going to give that number out later. There's another person who's an essential employee who works outside of the city, has to travel outside of the city as an essential employee. Right? She she lives with her sons and her mother. She's an older woman, and her mother obviously is older than her. She t uh, hit me about her job. We called and struggled with the job to try to get them to let her uh, have the days off because she's sick, right? Uh, she tested, so she went to go get her test. So she's been while she's waiting for the results of her test, her mother gets sick. Her mother is sick, so sick she has to be rushed to the hospital. Her mother has to be rushed to the hospital, and 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 I'm praying uh, uh, that the outcome of that is not terrible and horrendous. And her and both of her sons may also be positive. Why? Because we live in 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 close quarters in one another. Two bedroom uh, uh, apartments, one bedroom apartment, three bedroom apartments, right on top of each other. So when people are telling you this is fake, that you shouldn't listen, that this is a a, a hoax made up by the government, and all of this stuff, listen, folks. These 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 incidents are real. People are dying. This thing with where you know uh, somebody hit me and said. All these people are dying because they had diseases already. You mean all of the people are dying at the same time of diseases they have for 10, 15, some 20 years, some they were born with? This is, if that's not the most illogical thing that I ever heard of. And the only reason I'm addressing this is because some of the comments and some of the things people say, some of you are leaning in that direction to justify why you continue the behavior that you have. Listen, if we don't do what we're doing, more people will die. It'd be, 10, it'd be 10 times the amount of people uh, 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 that passed. And somebody said, uh, well, how come the numbers ain't going down if this is not, if this is working? Look, in other countries that did this months, months before us, their numbers have leveled off. Their numbers have gone down. They are leveling off. We started too late uh, in the United States, and we're rushing, uh, and we're doing this desperately trying to save people's lives. If you listen to what they're telling you on national TV, if you listen to uh, even Governor Cuomo or CNN or all of the things that the, these folks are, are telling us from the CDC, you'll see that we started this too late, and we're working hard to try to make sure we curb uh, this thing. So let me get into let me get into the numbers for you. Uh, in Newark today, we have 2,835 positive cases. 2,835 cases, almost 3,000. Just want to remind you that on March 14th, I said I said March 12th before, but it was actually March. 14th. March 14th, we, we reported the first case. First case of coronavirus. First case in Newark, March 14th. First case. Tomorrow will be one month. Tomorrow will be one month. So we got 2,834 additional cases in less than a month. Today we have 141 deaths. We have 100 and 41 deaths today, 141 deaths. And people say, oh, you're telling us the bad news. Look, there are people recovering. There are people in the hospital recovering. There are people at home recovering. In fact, there are more people that have recovered than actually died from coronavirus. But it does not take away from the families who lost 141 people. There's 141 families in our city who are missing their relatives in less than one month. In less than one month, 141 people who died in less than one month. And, and, and uh, fr from a virus who people keep comparing to the flu, this is uh, 10 times more contagious than the flu, right? Uh, the, the flu, you might infect one person. With this, you're affecting almost seven, eight, nine people uh, at a time, right? So it's almost 10 times more contagious than, than, than the flu. The, the, the death rate is yet to be seen because it's not finished. So you're comparing the death rate to something uh, that that is not uh, over yet, uh, and and I told you guys to read an article, and I hope you do. Uh, just Google National Geographic Spanish flu. Google National Geographic Spanish flu, 
and watch, read, read what all of the city did. There are a couple of articles. Read all of the cities. Newark is in that in that article too. Read what Newark did then and, and, and compare it to what's happening now and compare the death rate between the cities that did social distancing uh, and shelters in place and cities that did not, right? So social distancing is not a new word. It's something they were using way before. So look at the cities and compare what's going on. Then you make a decision about what you should be doing and what we're doing now and, and, and figure out uh, if, if, if what's happening is the right thing. In the county, we have 7,589 positive cases with 428 deaths. New Jersey has 61,850 positive cases with 2,183 deaths, right? So let's go to the, to the zip codes. Uh, if you live in 07102, uh, which is downtown, those numbers were small. Now you're at 111. If you live in 07103, uh, there are actually 341 cases now in 07103. 07104, which has been driving our cases since the very beginning, since March 14th, 07104 is at 563 cases in 07104. So when the, when the city first said, uh, this is a hot zone, don't come out of here, people should have stayed in their house then, 563 cases. In 07105, 372 cases, 07105. 07106, 329 cases, 07106, 329 cases. 07107, 416 cases, 07107, 416. 07108, where my mother lives, 07108, 228 cases. 07112, 274 cases, where I live, 07112, 274 cases, and 07114, 96 cases, 07114, 96 cases cases 07114 so i want you to look at that take those zip codes where you are if you see people uh, uh not doing what they're supposed to do report them and i just want to shout out all of the people who are doing that look i want to give a big shout out to Shoprite. i want to give a big shout out to blueprint cafe uh, uh down on rainbow boulevard uh african-american owned business blue blueberry cafe on central avenue uh african-american owned business uh, uh you know sh shout out to to crab bay and sh shout out to all of these businesses small local businesses who said sh shout out to pliables pliables uh, who said listen um if, if monday is going to be a day off we're going to give our workers a day off we're going to close down and let the workers go home uh for that day thank you uh it, the opposite has been happening with the corporate headquarters. And you see these, these people out here, these so-called activists are fighting for corporate America. These corporate folks at Walgreens, uh, 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 Dunkin' Donuts, um, who refused to close because their corporate headquarters told them that they, they, they better not close, right? All of these places that did not close. Uh, Aero Farms didn't close. Uh, I don't believe HelloFresh closed. I, I don't believe all these other warehouses that, that should have closed, closed. And there's a lot of uh, small stores up and down uh, Bloomfield Avenue that refused to close. A lot of people, because uh, profit to them is better than your health, right? And there are people saying, oh, we're going to shut the economy down because we close on Monday, th that we're scaring you. No, that's what's trying, that's, those are the people that are trying to scare you, scare you into death. I'm trying to scare you into life, right? I'm trying to scare you into life. A a as a matter of fact, uh, uh, your mother told you don't touch fire because it's hot because it'll burn you, not because she was trying to uh, intimidate you or, or, or uh, use a fear tactic. She was trying to protect your life and let you know if you put your hand in your fire, you were burned. And some of us had to get burned in order to learn it was hot. So at the end of the day, I'm telling you not to go outside because people are dying from coronavirus and we need a day, right? Uh, we need a day Monday. I don't, I don't want to give this gentleman's name uh, because I didn't get permission to, um, but I want to, I want to, let this Facebook Live be a dedication to the New Jersey transit worker uh, from the Orange Bus Depot who passed away from COVID-19, probably because uh, the, the lack of social distancing on, on the buses, uh, because New Jersey transit needs to put more buses out and needs to make sure that there's social distancing on those buses uh, as we go forward uh, and, and make sure that we're only taking a certain amount of people on the bus at a time. And because essential workers are forced to work and not, are not given a day off, 
uh, shout out to them. Shout out to the Walgreens workers who who hit me up and said well, they're forcing us to work. I, I want to walk out, right? I don't, I don't, I can't condone or or, or advise you to do that because they may take your job from you. But I appreciate the commitment, and I say keep the heat on, and I'm gonna keep the heat on for you because they should allow you the opportunity to shut down with all of the money they are making. This excuse that more people are going to come on Sunday, that we stopping people from eating, that we stopping people from going to the pharmacy, that's a, that's a bunch of malarkey, folks. People people have been going shopping, they've been getting everything they need, plus the city, the city is delivering food uh, uh, to people uh, at, at the same time, right? So be still Mondays, right? Be still and let the higher power work. Be still and let the higher power work. Be still. And we're going to keep being still on Monday uh, for an entire 30 days. We're going to do it for 30 days straight. Be still. And prayerfully, some people's lives have changed uh, in the process uh, of, of us being still. Uh, and, and so all of those businesses that supported us, we thank you. And prayerfully, we get more and more businesses to, to do what we ask them to do on these Mondays and more and more of us stay home on Monday um, and, and figure out how to be closer to our family, figure out how to do things uh, uh, new, how to how to meditate, how to pray, how to think, how to do all kinds of things, take care of our mental, emotional, and physical health uh, while we home. So be still Mondays. I'm not, I'm, I'm not apologetic for it. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I, am, I am happy we're doing it. In fact, uh, in fact, I wish we could do more days, but Monday is our day, and I pray that everybody uh, uh, follow suit and, and do what we're asking them to do on these Mondays. That they do what we're asking them to do on these Mondays. While, while I go on, I just want to also reiterate, uh, and, and to all of the all of the folks, I just want to uh, give respect to all of the folks that have been hitting me about their relatives in halfway houses, about their relatives in Northern State and in County Jail and Tully House. Uh, um, in, 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 in Northern State, uh, in, in, in all of the prisons up and down New Jersey who are in places where people who have tested positive need to make sure that there is there are some guidelines uh, for making sure people are socially distanced uh, in these correctional institutions. You need to make sure that, that people uh, have gloves and masks on in these correctional institutions, that, that, that their people are properly being quarantined, and that their elders, people that are very old and people that are very sick in there, that they be allowed to uh, be released from there uh, 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 because we don't want it to be spread and we don't want it to turn into a Petri dish uh, for COVID-19 in those places. So uh, you, we, we want to support uh, that and the folks that are the calling for that, we want to say that we're on your side. Also want to shout out Assemblywoman Brit Brittany Timberlake, Brittany Timberlake has a, a, a bill uh, that she's uh, sponsoring called, it, it is Bill A398 uh, legislation that's going to benefit so many homeowners and renters right now. So it is, it is an opportunity uh, for residents seeking forbearance of mortgage loans and a suspension of rental payments during the existing COVID-19 public health emergency, right? So people will get an automatic 90 to 180 day grace period. It'll also remove the requirements for providing proof of economic hardship or having any fees or penalties attached uh, to their appeals. Uh, this is going to be a great help to our community. We support this in Newark. Uh, uh, call your assembly people, call down, down state, and make sure you support Assemblywoman Brittany Timberlake's bill around, uh, foreclo uh, around mortgage forbearance, but also uh, around uh, uh, rent. Right, uh, support uh, uh, of, of, of waiving the rent and giving people 90, 180 day grace period. We support this in Newark. We need, we need this right now during this COVID-19 crisis. Uh, so support that bill. It is a bill for the people. Uh, we support it. Uh, and, and, and I thank the Assemblywoman for uh, sponsoring the bill. And I want to thank the, the, the folks from Ironbound Community Corporation for hitting me up on um, Instagram and letting me know uh, uh, that this was actually uh, um, happening. Uh, my, my policy advisor had, had hit me up probably a day before you guys, uh, but uh, you know you, you guys put the fire to it, and, and we and we we support that build 100. Um, just just a reminder: if you have any concerns about being positive for COVID-19, if you think you're positive for COVID-19, and uh, first call your own doctor. If you don't have a doctor. You want to reach out to the hospital, reach out to UH, and it's crowded. They can't take you. It's other information uh, that they need uh, uh, to, to, to be able to, to, to admit you. You can also call our FQHC, and, and that number is 
734-7083. 1-800-734-7083. If you are, you believe you are COVID positive, you believe you are COVID positive, then uh, you should uh, call 1-800-734-7083 and get yourself uh, 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 talk, get yourself tested, but first you're going to have to talk to a doctor. A doctor will be there to test you. If it's busy, uh, please call and keep calling. You got to, you have to understand that during these times, there are a plethora of people on these phones that, that keep calling, right? Uh, we are also working on a website that will be a, a full resource website that'll help you navigate during these times. Uh, we hope to have it live by tomorrow. It's a website to help individuals access revenue or money or resources either from the state or the federal government through the cares act help you do that the proper way listen if you think uh you're supposed to get twelve hundred dollars if you make seventy thousand dollars or less you have to uh, uh you have to file for your taxes so file for your taxes the only people that are exempt from that are people that are exempt because they have other exemptions anyway uh if they're disabled if there are other things like that 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 prevent that exempt them from filing taxes or if they make uh, uh, under $2,400 for a couple or two or under $1,200 for a couple. If you make that less amount of money, then you don't have to file for taxes and you're probably going to get the check anyway. But if you make more than that and, and, and less than $70,000, you need to file your taxes because if you file your taxes, then you're going to get a $1,200 check. An additional $500 you can get for each child in your house. You hear what I'm telling you? You get an additional, additional $500 for each child in your house as well, and if you and if you have and if you're married, if you live with somebody else, you could probably get an, a, an additional twelve hundred, which means you get twenty four hundred dollars in your household and five hundred dollars per child. Don't miss out on that. We're gonna work our butt off to make sure that every Newark that's Newark that's eligible to get that money can uh, stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, not hopefully I will tomorrow be able to announce on our Facebook Live. Uh, a way to help you engage that so you know what it is to do. And you know, we've already uh, have a plethora of things available for small businesses. Uh, we are working on something that we're going to announce too, uh, probably with Diddy and, and, and his folks uh, for small businesses around pay, payroll. Uh, uh, there are, there's also uh, our grant that we are still working on. Uh, if, if you need information about that, you www.uwnewark.org. Uh, to fill out an application. If you're a small business or a sole proprietorship, Newark has $10,000 grants for you. We have 10,000. We have grants also uh, up to 50,000 almost for uh, arts organizations, arts collectives uh, as well. So please, um, uh, those are two different uh, websites though. The one for small businesses, www.uwnewark.org. The other one you should contact uh, the Office of Economic and Housing Development, the Office of Economic and Housing Development in the city of Newark. Go to the city's website uh, and get that. The person that's in charge of that is Fayemi, Fayemi Shakur here in the city of Newark. Uh, uh, please reach out to her as well. We are giving out our food gift cards. I want to apologize to folks uh, because we, we were supposed to start doing that again today, but because of uh, 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 Monday, be still Mondays, we're starting tomorrow. The number is 973-733-5728, 973-733-5728, 973-733-5728. That's for the gift card, gift cards. We gave out thousands of gift cards a couple of weeks ago. We just got more money in, so we're going to be giving out gift cards. And I want to thank all of the organizations, the individuals, because individuals and corporations that gave money to help us do these gift cards. So I appreciate uh, all of you for, for giving us resources. That's 973-733-5728. Guess what? That number is going to be busy. It's going to be difficult for you to call. Why? There are 300, almost 300,000 people in the city. Many, many people are going to call. Many, many people are calling at the same time. You have to be patient. You have to keep calling until you get through. Uh, uh, keep calling until you get through. We have about 10 people working on those lines, uh, and they're going to answer as many calls as they possibly uh, and, and possibly can. I always tell you, don't forget the census. Uh, don't forget the census, www.2020census.gov, www.2020census.gov. Don't forget that. Fill it out while you're home. You can call. You don't, it's, you don't, if you don't have the paper, if you don't want to do the website, you can call. The numbers are on our website, the city of Newark's website, and they're on our Facebook page. So you can get the numbers uh, uh, off of there uh, as well. 
want to thank all of the Newarkers, 100% that stayed home and was still, that pushed the message out, Be Still Monday, that thought it not robbery, that didn't come up with some cynical response, that 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 did not have an excuse of, or tell you why they couldn't do this or why we shouldn't do that, uh, or, 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 or how is it stopping this or stopping that. I want to shout all of you folks out, right? And, and I had a... a, a, a a discussion with my brother from New York City, my son. I love the brother. He's my brother, hundred thousand uh, percent. You know, uh, you know about this idea of people wearing these masks, right? So we we are creative, man. We 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 are creative. Our creativity can't disappear in the middle of a pandemic. We have to put covering on. We have to put covering on, even if we go like this. We have to put covering on. We need it. We we need you to put the covering on, not for you, but for your neighbor. You, you're not wearing a covering to protect yourself. You're wearing a covering to protect me from you. And, and that's what people don't understand. You think, oh, and people, oh, you telling people to wear a mask. The mask is not going to protect them from coronavirus. Oh, the mask is designed to protect me from you if you have coronavirus. So what we're in essence saying is that everybody has coronavirus because we don't know who has it because people are walking around here asymptomatic. So if everybody wears it, then all of us are safe, right? That's 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 logical. And so we want you to wear any kind of face covering. So if they stop you from going in the store, think about the workers in there. If they stop you from going on the bus, think about the bus driver that passed from COVID-19. Go get a mask. Go cover your face. Go get some gloves. If they stop you from going to the pharmacy, go get a mask, right? This is not the time uh, to, to, to prove your ability to rebel, right? Or, or quote all of the the the, the sites you read or, or saw on on the internet that told you uh, that that this is a big hoax, a spook. Uh, you know the the reason why I got so upset yesterday, and I probably shouldn't. I was arguing with pe arguing with people uh, that had fake pages, fake names, fake whatever. You know the reason I got so so upset it, because I see what's going on firsthand. I see what's going on firsthand. First hand, I see bodies being pulled out. I get messages from, from nurses that are telling me that, that their patients are dying uh, before their very eyes. We pick up bodies off of bus stops, right? We, 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 we know the hospitals are overcrowded. I hear the desperation in Dr. Elmer Hall's voice. I know that there are no beds available uh, in these hospitals. I, I know that these the, the coroner or, the, uh, or um, the, 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 the medical examiner's office, that, that they have infection too, right? I know the EMS and EMT is down, right? I know how much money we're spending and, and how much of the homeless folks uh, that we have to uh, move to other places, that we have to purchase a, another building to put more homeless people in it because there are homeless folks that are catching coronavirus that, 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 that are in the hospital that we got to pull out of there and put somewhere else, right? I know what's happening. Right, I see what's happening every day. So excuse me, forgive me if I got a little emotional yesterday. I got a little emotional. I got a little emotional today too, uh, 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 with a couple of people online who are saying things that are leading you to the slaughter. That are leading you to the slaughter. And I, I wanted to read this that I got from a friend of mine, right? Who who uh, is home, social distancing. Thank God. It says, I wonder what's going on outside all of the time. There are pictures in the news and online and things I imagine. But the truth is, if I am smart, uh, I, I stay inside. I will never know what an emergency room looks like, what the testing sites look like, because others are working so hard. I will never know what uh, EMO, what EMT and police and fire stations look like, how busy and active they are. I will never see this crisis with my own eyes. So even though I am alone in an apartment, and it can be and it can be stranger than anything I ever experienced in my life. I am grateful because I will never know firsthand the horror that it is ravaging our city. Will you remind others, remind the city that many of us will never know or see what is happening? And we should all be grateful to you, everyone working in the reach of this, and God for that, right? So there are people who are working every day. Thank God for them that, that they face that stuff. And we don't. I have to listen to it and hear it and get reports on it all of the time, right? I, I have to uh, 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 feel calls of, of young boys desperate because their mother and grandmother is sick and they have nowhere to turn. Or people who have tested COVID positive, right, uh, and, and live in an apartment with their newborn baby, right, by themselves and have nowhere else to go. 
that we have to figure out how to house them, right? Uh, uh, this is what I deal with. So I don't, I, I get a little upset when I have to uh, go back and forth with people telling me about a conspiracy theory they, they saw uh, on somebody's uh, friend's website, right, somewhere, or some, some, some nonsense about uh, if we close down Mondays, we're destroying the black community. I, I, I can't get my hands and my head around this kind of thing when in Chicago, African-Americans are dying six to one in Illinois, right? In, 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 in New York City, we, we're two to one, right? Uh, 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 that black and brown people in this nation are dying of this disease uh, because we have all of the underlying conditions. We have all of the underlying conditions because of inequity that existed in this system for years, right? So it has taken advantage of our inequality, our poor access to health care, our poor access to good food, our high blood pressure, our diabetes, our, uh, our, uh, our heart, uh, all the heart disease stuff that, that we have, right? Uh, all of those things, asthma and upper respiratory illness that we already have, right, that we've had for years, that has been generational. Some people that have been born with it, right, that passed down even disproportionately with HIV and AIDS. Uh, so this disease has ravaged and took advantage of all of those illnesses and sicknesses that were brought on by a society that has been that was unequal from the first place, right? And so now, instead of us uh, trying to figure out a way to save our own lives, we coming up with excuses that will lead more of us to our death. That is what we're up against, what I'm up against. So I'm going to calm that down. So I'm not going to go back and forth with them people so much. I'm going to concentrate on what it is that we're doing because I just thank God, by the grace of God, that those uh, those of you out here uh, that are positive, that are working, that are making sure that we're safe, outnumber those people. Those of you who are staying home, outnumber those people. Those people who are who are giving giving us love and well wishes, outnumber those people. Uh, those folks who 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 are coming uh, uh, to clean and do what they're supposed to do, outnumber those people, right? So I appreciate you. I appreciate the guy who gave out the free gas uh, to to the first responders uh, 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 and those on the front line. I appreciate you. Thank God for you. Thank God for the people that are feeding people, that are feeding homeless people, that are taking food to people's homes, that are making masks. There are some people who didn't get on the, the Facebook and say, oh, they're making people wear masks. The government is evil. You know what they do? They took their creativity and started making masks. They start making masks themselves and passing them out to their neighbors. They start making masks. Some of them made business out of masks. They made masks out of cloth. Uh, with designs on it and started selling them to people. Uh, thank God uh, 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 for those people. I appreciate you. Uh, thank God uh, when, 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 when we have to pick up dead bodies, some of the funeral parlors that step up right, to do it. When I tell police, thank God for the police officers that will pass out masks instead of tickets, who, who will give people a mask and, 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 instead of putting handcuffs on them. We appreciate those people. We appreciate those officers who are, in fact, getting tested, who, who are testing positive for COVID, right? Who 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 are catching it out here in the street, uh, trying to watch out and protect us. Thank God for those people, and those people are in the majority. Thank thank God for them. Let me do my shout outs uh, before I get off this phone, uh, off this uh, uh, live. I'm sorry, Miss T three thirteen. Appreciate you, S M the Don Fireman. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, we, you, you have some wisdom, man. We need you to help us save some lives out here. Equal Space CO, uh, my man, I, I love you. Appreciate the work you're doing. Queen Ronique is always on the grind, always on the grind. Let me know uh, what's, what's going on out here. Marcy DePena, appreciate you and, and, and all the support uh, you give me. SSG Damien, appreciate you. Rockman 2018, uh, Pretty Savage 87, telling us what we should be doing while we are at home on Be Still Mondays. Appreciate that. She's always right. Appreciate you. ETA 1987, Crabbay 973, appreciate you for closing down your store in Newark. Thank you, brother. Local small black business in the city of Newark. We appreciate you, man. Support that brother when you can. Uh, I already shout out Eric Panasecki. Appreciate you, man. Jalil RJ, thank you uh, uh, for, for what you're doing. Brick City Immigree, you've been hitting me up over and over and over again, giving me positive messages, telling me what's going on. I appreciate you. I thank you. Thank you. Brenda McDenise, thank you. Staying on the grind about other companies outside of the city where Nurica's work, that we need to stay on them too. Mommy Ortiz, appreciate you. A Precious Ruby, thank you for letting me know uh, these folks are making people come to work and work 
uh, this saying, this, I don't care what the mayor says, you got to come to work anyway, essential employees. We're going to call those people and put pressure on them. Uh, I, I appreciate you. And I, I want to tell the, the two gentlemen that hit me, my man, uh, uh, I don't want to say their names. Hang in there, brother. Call that number for your moms. Get her the testing that she needs. Let her see a doctor. Talk to a doctor. If she's positive, you got to separate from her. Uh, uh, you don't need to be sick. You don't need nobody else to be sick. If you need some services or help, stay on us. Call us uh, as much as we can. Um, there, I got a couple of calls about the WIC office. Look, there are people that are working. Uh, uh, we're, we're making sure. The city is still functioning. We're making sure uh, uh, that you'll get those checks. And if you have not, we will make sure you get them. Keep calling, put, keep putting pressure on us. We'll get what you, we, you'll get what you need. Uh, I know the city's, the city streets aren't as clean as we need them to be, uh, because we stopped the opposite side of the street parking. Our sanitation workers are getting sick. Some of them are social distancing, uh, are quarantining, but we're going to get it. We're going to make it happen. Uh, we're going to get out here and do what we're supposed to do. Trust us. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get us back to where we need to be a hundred thousand percent. Bear with us. Uh, we we in this together. Uh, you you're not by yourself uh, at all. We we struggling and we struggling together. And I appreciate everybody who got on that page today and yesterday and and and, and threw some blows on, on on my behalf, really on the city's behalf because I represent the city. I'm here because of the city. If it wasn't for the city, I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't for you people, I wouldn't be here. I've been here for 51 years. My family's been here almost 100 years. I breathe, live, smell die, fight, Newark in my blood, 100,000% here and always. Uh, so we, we, we listen, when we, we're going to get through this. We're not going to get through it perfect. We're not going to get through it unscathed. We're not going to get through it without falling down. We're going to make some mistakes. We're going to make some errors. We're going to get angry at each other. We're probably going to say some things to each other we don't mean, we don't like, but we're going to get through it. We're going to finish this thing. We're going to fight, and we're going to bring as many people through it uh, as we can, right? Just like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, there was a fourth person in that fiery furnace. There's a fourth person in this pandemic with us, and he's going to help us get through all of this. We're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. By hook or crook, we're going to get through it. We just got to be patient. We just got to fight our urge to be selfish, to think about ourselves and not our, and not our community. Uh, and we got to be disciplined, and we have to be respectful. And if, we, and, and, and if everybody actually became the community that they talk so often about being a part of, then we would have nothing to worry about. We're going to get through this with flying colors, y'all. We're going to be okay. Newark is going to be okay because we've always been okay. We've been through a lot in this town, and we will be okay. I hope you read Angels of Bread, Martin Espada. I hope you read Angels of Bread, Martin Espada. Google it. Angels of Bread, Martin Espada. Martin Espada, Angels of Bread. I'm going to read that tomorrow, the whole poem. I'm going to read the whole poem tomorrow before we get off. Martin Espada, Angels of Bread. Read it. Check it out, right? Read it. Check it out. Appreciate y'all. Love you. Stay strong. Newark strong. Always. Newark strong. Don't falter. Hold the line. Don't turn around. Don't go back. Go forward. Hold the line. Newark strong. Hold the line. No matter what they say, no matter how much they criticize us, no matter how much they beat on us, no matter how much they talk about us, Newark strong. We're going to watch out for each other. We're going to take care of each other. We're going to love on each other. And by, by if it takes everything we have on Mondays, we're going to get to a Monday where the entire city is going to be shut down so we can prove to each other and to the rest of the world that we love each other enough to stay home so we can save each other's lives. Godspeed, y'all.